Viruses aren't able to reproduce on their own because they don't have the genes for all of the enzymes that are needed for replication or the functional ribosomes needed for protein synthesis. As a result, viruses rely on the enzymes and organelles of their host to replicate into new virions. When the host cell is forced to replicate the viral genetic material, it typically ends in cell death and lysis. This process is known as the lytic replication cycle, which includes five major stages. First, the virion attaches to the host cell. The virion or its genome enters the host. The host synthesizes nucle nucleic acids and viral proteins. The new virions are assembled, and then they are released from the host cell. Some bacteriophages have a modified replication cycle, so they don't follow this lytic pattern that I just went through. Instead, infected host cells can continue to grow and reproduce as they normally would for several generations before they lyse. When bacteriophages reproduce like this, it's known as a lysogenic replication cycle, or lys lysogeny. These types of phages are called temperate phages. In this cycle, the viral DNA enters the cell, but this time it doesn't assume control right away, and the host DNA is not destroyed. The virus remains inactive by coding for a protein that suppresses prophage genes, and it is called a prophage. This reproduction cycle is also different because the prophage is inserted into the DNA of the bacterium, becoming a physical part of the bacterial chromosome. As a result, all the daughter cells produced are infected with the quithicent virus. Lysogenic conversion refers to a change in a phenotype due to insertion of a lysogenic bacteriophage into a bacterial chromosome. This process allows lysogenic phages to enter the phenotype of a bacterium, such as from a harmless form into a pathogen. Eventually, the prophage can be excised from the chromosome by a genetic event, such as recombination, which is called induction. It will then re-enter the lytic phase, assemble, and be released. The cell will become filled with virions and lice. Landophage is a common example of lysogenic conversion. DNA viruses like Landa fuse one piece of DNA, the virus, to another piece of DNA, the chromosome of the cell. In this case, every time that the cell replicates its infected chromosome, the prophage is also replicated. This largely contributes to pathogenicity. The result is a phenotype of hemorrhag hemorrhagic diarrhea. Another example is Streptococcus pyogenes, which results in scarlet fever. My textbook was my resource used to learn about this topic and to complete this assignment. Thanks, everyone.